If it's about anything, inside is about a lack of agency. Its few motifs are of control and assumed dominance. Humans become mind-controlled puppets, dogs serve as bloodthirsty slaves, and monsters buck against the walls of water tank prisons. Even the weather is a hellish dictator, taking rhythmic swings to massacre anything in its linear path. The protagonist's escape, through choices of camera work and gameplay mechanics, is always hemmed in and controlled by his environment. A player of such a game is subordinate to this theme, almost by definition. Inside, it needs to constantly remove your ability to choose, must become less gamey at every turn. And so Inside begins in Medius Res, with the boy tumbling from a grassy wall and sprinting, already escaping. This happens within the same frame as the game itself, like you're watching someone else play. The boy scrambles forward a bit and then stops mid-run, until you, the player, continue on his path to the right. You don't have a choice, not just because the way back is blocked by walls both visible and invisible, but because the preceding act was deterministic of both action and motivation, such as it is. This theming, this jumping point, blends with ambiguous storytelling effectively and annoyingly at the same time, propulsive but frustrating. Insight is always forward, always reaction, never accruing the context that would put a more coherent idea in place beyond the next terrible thing to avoid, the next agent who demands fealty or death, the next and eventually final, horrible, forced entry into the literal masses, obedient in your linear disobedience. And this theming, annoying as it is, is necessarily present from the player's very first choice.